Today we're going to talk about checking your transmission fluid. One of the ways that you can extend the life of your transmission is by checking the fluid regularly and knowing what to look for and when to change your fluid. And you do that by cranking up your, cranking up your engine and having your truck warm at least five to ten minutes. And I've already cranked this one and had it, got it warmed up. But you do it by cranking it at an idle, at an idle speed in park. And we're going to flip the cab up. I'm going to crank it up and we're going to flip the cab up. Raise the, you raise the cab. Raise the cab. The Zuzu and the Mitsubishi both work the same way. This happens to be a Mitsubishi. If you pull this, pull this safety latch and raise this handle, and then there's another safety handle in the back. Another safety handle, so there's actually three handles. This is a safety handle, and you pull this one first, this one second, and the safety handle third, and then raise it up. Also, very important, very important to make sure this is latched. The safety lock is latched. Pull it in, this is down, and put the pin through. There's actually a pin that goes through to keep that thing keep this cab from collapsing on the phone. The dipstick for the transmission is usually located at the very rear part of the engine. Sometimes it can get confused with the engine oil. Um, but if you follow the tube, if you look at this tube, this tube turns and goes back toward the transmission. And this particular engine has the, uh, this is the oil, the oil filler, the oil tube is up in, in the middle of the engine. But this one is the transmission tube. What you'll do is pull it all the way out. What you want to look for is a red, is a red color on this on this uh, dip, end of this dipstick. You want a good red color. Note this one. This one is actually low in fluid, so we're going to add some fluid today. That some some dipsticks have a cold side. If you read the word cold on it. And this, this engine has only been running about 10 minutes, so it would be considered cold. And the, the fluid level is actually actually down at the tip of my thumbnail. So we're going to add a little fluid to it today. Your cold level will be lower than your hot level, because the fluid expands as it gets hotter. So we're going to add a little bit of fluid today, and we're going to do that straight through the dipstick tube. You can add fluid through the dipstick tube with a good funnel. It's also very important to put a good grade of transmission fluid in it and to know your manufacturer's specifications. They can be found in your in your owner's manual. And this, this particular truck happens to call for uh, Dextron or Mercon 5. And again, it can be found in your owner's manual. It's also important to have a small tip funnel that is clean. You want a clean funnel. No trash or debris inside the funnel. We're going we're gonna to put it in straight through the same tube that your dipstick came out of. I just added transmission fluid to, to the truck because it was, it was showing some low. And what we're going to do now is uh, reinsert the dipstick. Reinsert the dipstick. Make sure your dipstick is clean. Always wipe it off every time you every time you, you want to check the fluid. Make sure your dipstick is dipstick is clean so you get an accurate measurement. So I'm gonna insert it back in. Insert it back in, and we're gonna check the fluid after. You see the fluid is actually actually up now. It's in the cold range. Right at the top of the cold range, which is good. But keep in mind, this fluid is showing that it is, is brown and showing indications that it does need changing. And you can change the fluid, probably have a have a service service manager or a, a good mechanic that can change the fluid. And what that would entail would be to drop, and drop the pan and the transmission and also changing the filter along with a good grade of transmission fluid. But you can, you can extend the life of your transmission by checking your fluid regularly. Checking it regularly, no wind has changed. 
keep in mind, it's usually around a 25,000 mile interval that it needs changing. Okay, thank you, have a good day.